Bob, President Bush took time out today to honor thousands of lawmen who have died in the line of duty, among them several from the PD. Some Surfside Beach residents are up in arms about having to pay business license fees. One secretary for Mid-Atlantic Construction... ...to come on Action News groundbreaking for a new health care center in the PD. And we'll go live to a pig picking for some German students. Please stay with us. It was almost as if it was right on cue. The clouds moved in just like Kevin said they were going to, and exactly. those big drops. A lot of rain on the way up here, and also uh, really cool things down, I believe. Right, yeah. Kevin? Yeah, temperatures aren't bad at all. Don't let the, the clear skies we're seeing now fool you, though, because uh, there's a pretty good chance of some more clouds in the area tonight. Looks like mostly the beaches will be seeing the clouds tomorrow. It should be clearing up a little bit inland. Got a tropical storm to tell you about, too. A whole lot to talk about, so you stick with me, all right? We'll be back. Our current weather map, here we are, the cold front moving through our area tonight. That's why we see the clouds. We're going to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms tonight, possibly especially near the Grand Strand. That's where your greater rain chance is. With the Minnesota Twins waiting in the wings, the Atlanta Braves and Pittsburgh Pirates resume their best of seven series tomorrow night in Pittsburgh. The Pirates with back-to-back -back wins in Atlanta over the weekend. All right, thanks mm -hmm. a lot, Bo. We'll be right back. Okay, weather for the rest of the evening? Cloudy tonight, especially along the Grand Strand, but rapidly improving, I think, by tomorrow afternoon. Okay, well, that sounds encouraging yeah. anyway. Sports? Let's talk a little bit more about the Braves as they head to Pittsburgh for Game 6. Okay. Tonight on Action News at 11, we'll, of course, have more on that very close Clarence Thomas vote in the U.S. Senate. Again, the final tally there, 52 in favor, 48 against. And the U.S. Supreme Court is hearing arguments on the rights of criminals to profit by writing books about their crimes. Now, of course, let's join ABC World News tonight with Peter Jennings in New York. 